type comeback, any kind of comeback. Yep. That's not the kind of shot if you're North Carolina you want. You want to occupy some clock here, make them play May. Bob. Brandon. Now Brown. On the floor, no whistle. Belton up ahead. Noel gives it up. McCann soars. And Tran hustles oh, down to get the defensive State. How about it, Trover? Hager called for it. Gets it. Oh, Underneath. God. Pinned. And it'll be Michigan State ball. Well, we are seeing some blocks <laughs> against fast-breaking opportunities by guys that are great finishers. McCants can finish. Oh, Boy, what a block by Williams. Elvin Scott returns. Bograk is in for Michigan State. Well, this is a nice move, I think, here by Roy Williams. He's going to go with two guards out on the floor, probably get a little better ball handling. And force Michigan State to really have to play hard in the half-court defense. They need a three. Ager Got gets it. it for him. Still a dozen down. 4-16 to play. And then inside, and a three-point opportunity for the Tar Heels. Great creation by May on that place. Davis was right there to block that shot. North Carolina in this half, they're shooting. Felton hit a couple of long-range shots. Jawad Williams hot throughout. But May now with 20 on the game, 16 and a half. Very quiet first half by this young man, but uh, he has picked it up. He's got the great hands, worked so hard to get his body in condition to be the kind of player he is. And there he is hustling back down court. North Carolina not shooting free throws that well, Jim. This is the kind of situation you can really build on that lead. Ager hit one a minute ago. This one shot. really deep. Oh! And again, Maurice Ager on a step back three. Eleven's the margin. Scott pops it in. And Tranan helped. That one might have bounced. They thought off his foot. They make an appeal. They thought that went off the shoe of May, but it'll be North Carolina ball coming out of the break. Akers hit their last eight points. Well, Mr. Eagle Eye Nance spotted something here I never saw. Watch this. And that is Sean May's foot in contact with the ball. And there it goes out of bounds. A nice punt, Jim. And uh, you were all over it. Unfortunately, though, for uh, Spartan fans, it wasn't seen that way by everyone, so it'll be North Carolina ball up 11. 27 seconds on the clock. On the shot clock, 3.38 to go. And North Carolina now has to start playing smart like we saw Illinois play in the first game where they just made it impossible for Louisville to come back. When there are comebacks, the team that gives up the lead sometimes allows the comeback. In and look at Davis's hustle. It'll still go back to the Tar Heels with 17 on the shot clock. Now you can't fault Davis at all, Jim, down this stretch. He has played so hard both ends of the floor. And hasn't gotten the rest much in this second half. First half, he was able to take some time off because he never had to go head-to-head -head with May. There's 14 rebounds, Billy, tying career high. Get inside, they go, another lob that delivers. May again. Felton wanted to have that one. Hager, it's been hot. Yep. Defended this time, though. Scott gets it out of there, squirts wow. it out. Another lob. Marvin Williams turn. You can see that coming, and this is what you don't want to have happen if you're Michigan State. You turn a team, the number one scoring team in the country, loose in this regard, and it's going to cost you. Come on, Marvin. Williams at one end, and then Maurice Ager at the other. They're calling for two. There's the main dunk. Marvin Williams got the next one. That ball was beautifully thrown by McCants, too, Jim. Nice, soft, put it up there so hands could just put it away. Speaking of identical scores, this is the score by which Illinois beat Michigan State in their one matchup this year and North Carolina's moving in on an Illinois matchup right now. They played uh, Michigan State the common opponent here to an identical score. 
at the moment. And you look at front court scoring in the advantage to the Tar Heels in the CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Complete tournament coverage, CBS Sports Line. And, and Jim, you know, the guy you really want to credit, I realize that that is a substantial difference, but the guy you really want to credit, even more than me, I think, is Williams. Rod Williams today, when North Carolina needed him the most, really stepped up in that first half. And here's Scott, who hit two key foul shots. Still comes back for Bogracus. Yeah, I agree, Billy. As big as May has been in this half, that first half by Jawad Williams, and even in uh, portions in the early going in this half, Jawad was carrying him. Yep. And now you've got Ager, the guy that wants that ball, looks like he wants to take the shots. Got to help out on him a little bit. The last 10 points on the board by the Spartans have come by way of Ager, but North Carolina is marching through another Big Ten team tonight. It was Wisconsin in the regional final. Michigan State here tonight. And we'll have another wait for them on Monday night, it appears, because they're just two minutes away from sealing it. Well, we talked about them facing each other in 1957 in a Final Four. North Carolina came away with a triple overtime win there, and it looks like they'll come away with a win here as well. Four on the shot clock, and Felton. You get Williams. Oh, they say it's off of Michigan State. I didn't see it that way. Williams, about six foot ten, long arms, pretty strong for a freshman. Timeout, North Carolina. North Carolina calls it. Tom Izzo has said, my most special Final Four team of all. Amazing. We've had four teams play today, and all four teams, there's only been 48 teams in the history of college basketball that have had four players with 1,000 points, and four of them played on this court today. Unbelievable. Pretty amazing. Yep. You think about that. That's in the history of the game. That's right. 40 four of the 48, all of them are here. That's four, right. All four of them here are and able that, to be blessed with 4,000-point scores. You know Nolan what? Scott to the line. What that talks about is unselfish play, guys who obviously enjoy playing with each other, and guys willing to give up the ball. Well, Tom Izzo said his team was void of any superstars, but it was also a team that was ego-free. They had four games in the tournament before this one, four different leading scores in those games. Tom Izzo joining Fred Taylor, the old Ohio State coach, is the only two to take four teams to the Final Four in their first 10 years. The amazing accomplishment. Reach around on Williams, Marvin Williams. And of course, uh, Fred Taylor was able to take those teams led by Jerry Lucas, John Havlicek, the guy who hasn't had too bad a coaching career in the NCAA. Bob Knight played on those teams. Three straight years, Ohio State with Fred Taylor went to the Final Four, winning in their sophomore year and then losing to Cincinnati in their junior and senior years. Davis for an end of a one and one. Thursday night they had the uh, salute presentation. All four teams were on hand. All the players, the coaches, and Coach Izzo was asked about all that talk on the selection night when he's told his team they had a hunch that we were going to be going on a run. He says, I have no doubt we're going to have a run. But he did admit, I didn't expect that run was going to take us all the way to St. Louis. It's been a hugely successful NCAA tournament, even though it's going to end earlier than they had hoped for this week. Five seed making it all the way to the Final Four. North Carolina and Illinois will be the championship matchup. It's the matchup the college basketball fans have been clamoring for for at least two months. Yeah, and go back to January. Marvin Williams with the three. And Ager able to sky for the rebound. Final minute. Ager in the paint. Job getting inside there, and Williams wisely pulls the ball back. Everybody looks for Felton. What do you think if North Carolina is able to beat the third place team from the Big Ten, the second place team from the Big Ten, and then Monday night beat Illinois? They would not only win the Big Ten tournament championship, but the NCAA championship. They'd be the Big Ten champs in a way, and the national champs. And how about Seth Davis? What did he lecture everybody that happened? He said this tempo was going to cost him. If Absolutely. They, if they you try to play with North Carolina State. this way, he was all yes, over. Yes, he was. He issued a warning at halftime. Yes, he did. And in fact, that did do him in. And here come all the subs. They'll take the starters out, and we'll see him again on Monday night. 
That should be quite a game. And as you said, Jim, I, I would say since uh, Wake Forest got knocked off by Illinois, you know, early in, and Illinois just destroyed Wake Forest at their place. And uh, North Carolina, even though they struggled a little bit, they got lost to Wake Forest. I think people were saying, you know, these are the two best teams in the country, and here they earn their way to play each other on Monday night. It's the way it ought to be. Well, you said that on Selection Sunday. You said, I think that those two teams, Illinois and North Carolina, are two best. There are a bunch of teams that are just a little bit behind them. But these two that ended up in the uh, final AP poll, 1-2, Illinois 1, North Carolina 2, will play for the championship. Ah, nice. And there was what I talked about, unselfish play. Torbert, the senior, giving up the ball to a guy with a better shot. Well, Drackers wanted a foul there and didn't get the call. That's Holly with the three. And Davis still working for everything. Robert, the man that so much was expected of when he came to Michigan State, accepted his role as a sub, great team player, had a fine career. Amo keeps it alive out to Davis. Holly pours it, pulls it down, and North Carolina is in the championship matchup with Illinois. A resounding second half performance by the Tar Heels. 20. One point turnaround in all in the second half. Roy Williams will play for that elusive championship on Monday night. Well, he's won 39 NCAA tournament games, and that's the most anybody's ever won who has not yet won a championship. The coach and the